I was so I'm awkward like just ready. then. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. As you can see, I have a guest. I have Yay! Amelia here. She has come and visited us over here. We're basically going to do the best of beauty on a budget. For those of you girls who potentially are beauty fanatics but don't have loads to spend, we're going to share with you some of our absolute favourite products and bits and brands and all that kind of good stuff to give you some inspiration and probably get you shopping <laughs> as well and then we're going to have a video on Amelia's channel which is our style staples all year round yeah. so things we love no matter the season time day anything <laughs> exactly and you might have seen Amelia on my channel before we've done yeah. a, we did a video last year together which yeah, was really did. good fun and you know she's a lo not a local girl that sounds so strange <laughs> not a local girl but it's nice to have someone just to come and vibe off yeah. with we've had lunch and everything and it just makes all this a bit more fun so I hope you guys enjoy this video so I'll go first and I'm gonna do when it comes to basically skincare and the brand that I really like for skincare and I think budget is is kind of relative right because some yeah. people might want two pounds or three pounds and mine might be like five pounds to seven pounds but I genuinely think the body shop are absolutely amazing right now I'm loving the drops of the youth range they've got really really good products in there I love this um cream which is like a day cream it's really like moisturizing I'm gonna see it coming. yeah I want to smell smell it. smell it it doesn't really smell it's, it's not too fresh. strong it's yeah, quite fresh it's quite light it's very nice and I think that the body shop in general have got really good skincare products like vitamin yeah. C range is amazing they've got the white musk the range vitamin E range my mom um, loves that. amazing yeah. as well and it's super affordable and I think that if you want to start on skincare the body shop is a good option to go with they have and such a wide variety of things as well so much amazing yeah. I've even got their foundation as well also if anyone's looking for oh, yeah, foundations I use yeah this. I use this the fresh news foundations which have got like color drops as well yeah so you can make it slightly darker or slightly lighter so I love the body shop for that kind of thing. You just cheated. You just put in two. <laughs> I know. I put in two, but they are like one of my favourites. Okay, I'm going to cheat as well. I have two foundations. Okay, both lovely. are from L'Oreal Paris, which I love. love. So I thought I'd like bring two options because L'Oreal True Match is one of my favourites when I want like a dewy, really fresh, luminous look. And it's super long lasting as well. And then the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation is when I want something like That's amazing. super long. Yeah, it's so good. Yeah. It's so long lasting. Like this is the most long lasting foundation I own. It doesn't oxidize on my skin. It doesn't leave like a too powdery or matte finish either. Yeah. You do need to spend quite a bit of time blending it out. Yeah. Don't you? But yeah, it's worth it. So these two. I cheated as well. And also, the thing with L'Oreal Paris that some people might not know is that they've got such a colour range. Like yeah. they've got, I think they've got over 20 shades, but sometimes they don't yeah, sell this, all the... Yeah, only stocks, like in, five in the, or whatever, In the yeah. shops, they might only sell five, but if you go online, and I think if you buy it from L'Oreal um, directly, you can get all the colour ranges. Yeah. Some women feel like they're not included on the spectrum but they create the product, it's just that sometimes you can't find them in store. So just do your research but they're excellent foundations. Yeah. So next up it is an eyeshadow palette and, and just I'm going to talk about the brands as well. So Sleek, Sleek were one of the brands that I first started out with when it came to wearing makeup and wearing eyeshadows and stuff. I don't know if you were ever a I sleek was girl. Blush by three palettes. Yeah, the, the blush, yeah, and the, the contour, contour yeah. yeah, amazing. Like, sleek were absolutely amazing. They are a drugstore brand. And they were the first ones to really... Can I open it? Yes, please. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> I was like, going to save you now. <laughs> they were, like, the Ooh, first ones to do, too. like, I don't know, a variety of, um, yeah. lovely, yeah. of pigmented eyeshadows. And this is a new one. I think this one is called, I don't know what it's called. All Night Long. All Night Long, this one's called. And what you have are multiple different colours, but they've got palettes that are like super vibrant, like the electric they palette have such and stuff a like that. Great variation. And they have matte and shimmers as well. Matte and shimmer, and I think they're excellent. So if you want to get really nice eyeshadows, I yeah. think a nice base is good. The quality is amazing. And the quality is great. And another one that I really like for eyeshadows is Kiko as well. Yeah. I'm just going to keep dropping like, extra yeah. ones in. <laughs> I'm like, we're cheating. We're already <laughs> at I'm kind of cheating a little bit, but I've got favourites from there as well. But I'll show you guys that palette then. Okay, I'm going to talk about my favourite eyeshadow palettes. I love Sleek, 
but these were like a recent, I'd say like year and a half ago discovery for me, where I was like, I've loved sleep for ages. These are from Collection. They're the I've Eyes Uncovered. Those. Oh my gosh, you need to try them. They're like, um, I decay. have never seen Like, those. they're so buttery. I hate the packaging. That's what's so annoying. I think but the packaging's all right, no, you know. No, it's like really, it always it's, falls it's, open. Okay, it's flimsy, but oh yeah, yeah. it's made of paper. Um, but the eyeshadows are so buttery. The shimmers are so beautiful. I love this one. It has a matte black in it. I really find it hard to like get yeah. good quality matte blacks. A really nice bone shade as well. And then they have, they honestly have so many different types of I've palettes, never seen these. They're beautiful. That color's gorgeous. They're so nice. They're so where so are these gorgeous. sold? Superdrug boots. Anyone that stops Amazing. collection. They're so good. So I've never seen those before, so thank you. That is a new <laughs> one to add to my collection. Okay, next up I'm going to show mascara. I mean, I've got loads of favorites when yeah, it comes to drugstore same. mascaras. So I'm going to show you Maybelline and also L'Oreal. You're, you're cheating I, every I'm, I, I know, I really am, sorry. I just, I'm looking at them here and I'm like, oh, I don't know how to choose between them. But, um... Okay, I'll go with L'Oreal first and foremost. I think they've got really good mascaras. There's so many different ones they have, but I feel like every one they come yeah, out with is good. And I found that sometimes these L'Oreal ones are better than some of the high-end mm -hmm. ones I've had in the past. And you spend six pounds to seven pounds and they just come out amazing. But maybe Lean also have this new one, the push-up drawer. That I'll just, I'll I'm wearing the L'Oreal one today. Oh yeah, oh this yeah. one, yeah. Okay, these are absolutely amazing and they, they last forever. So yeah, yeah you're a fan. Really I'm a fan. I'm gonna keep sticking with the theme. These are my favorite lashes ever. Yeah. The Ardell Demi, Demi Wispies. Wispies. Yeah. They're amazing. They're so, so, so good. I'm wearing, I've cut like half off and I'm wearing like them on the corner today. And I just love them. I love wearing like a full strip. You always wear lashes, don't you? Oh, I live for lashes, yeah. They're yeah. so, so, so good. And they're really affordable as well. So it depends like, on where you buy the them from store. though. Yeah. So it, do you buy them from Boots? I buy them from Boots. For like three, five yeah, they're like five, under ten pounds for sure. So I have a secret. If you go to certain areas, you can get them for one ninety nine a pack. So I buy ten at a time. Like I've got. Where do you? I'm so coming with you, you, if you on go this to, lash if you, go, <laughs> if you go to like Croydon, if you go to Tooting, there are shops that sell these. Like because before they became famous, like yeah, they were like the go to like, yeah. lashes, and you can layer them. One ninety nine, and I can. I'm still coming do, with yeah, you. Yeah, like literally, don't buy. Screw spend, boots. <laughs> don't spend um two um five pounds on those. I never. Wow. Would. Okay. But yeah, they are amazing and definitely affordable. So moving on to the lips, I'm only going to be good and stick with one, but it's the NYX butter gloss and I bought this when I was in New York from this random shop that everyone was telling me that I should go to where you can get like NYX and LA Girl cosmetics and other brands and these are amazing like they're glosses but they're really pigmented as well yeah. and I've got all these neutrals and all these nudes and I just throw them on like on days when I'm not wearing makeup as well and it just makes me look a little bit fresher and put together i feel like i'm moving to glosses right now and these they're are so balmy amazing. as well they're like the they're, most hydrating yeah, balm very ever. very I mean, balm gloss <laughs> yeah yeah that, they're so so good and i love the color range that they have in these so yeah have you got these I love them. Oh. And also, like, I have different variations of shades. And like, one's a tiny bit pink, yeah. pinky, I, yeah, and I'm yeah, like, yeah, I need yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. They're so good. Yeah. And how much are they? I think around five pounds. About five pounds. I think they're yeah. super affordable. I think I spent it was seven to nine dollars for those. So I was like, yes, I can have ten of these, please. <laughs> like, amazing. I ended up spending so much money though because I kept buying loads of like cheap things, and I was like, ooh. But yeah. they are quite sheer as well. Yeah. It's but they've like got but they've got like a nice tint pigment. to yeah. it which tint. I quite like. So yeah, yeah. it doesn't it doesn't just look shiny yeah. basically. I am obsessed with lip liner. There's not a day where I wear lipstick without lip liner anymore. Yeah. Like I am addicted to the stuff. I'm just like overlining my lips all the time. So these are my favorite lip the liners. Ones. Yeah. yeah. Do you like them as well? Yeah. They're so good. They're Rimmel Exaggerate lip liners. They have so many new colors. Oh, I haven't seen the whole color oh range. Oh my gosh, they're just really creamy. They last really long. They Do act you put them all like, over or I put more them all like over. yeah. Do yeah. You? yeah. Sometimes yeah. it depends, but I'm medium on lip liners. I go for darker lip liners so yeah. I can give myself more shape. But these ones are very good. They very, are so, very good. So good. Okay, so my final product is I think I've mentioned this a few times. It's the LA Girl Pro Concealer. 
Um, I always use Estee Lauder Double Wear as my concealer. It's like my favourite concealer. And then everyone was asking for like alternatives and stuff. And this was an excellent one that kept coming um, up. I use the colour Fawn under my eyes and to highlight and stuff. I don't know if you've used these before. No, I've heard so much yeah. about them though. I picked these up in the US. Is it but, quite easy to blend them? Uh, yes but don't let them dry so the thing yeah. is i find that they're a little bit draggy and they're not as moist as some other ones but they're still very very good and actually you get a lot of coverage like a little can go a very long way yeah. on these so it's very pigmented and good but i would just keep moisturized keep before it. you um okay. put this on but this is an excellent affordable concealer for the girls out there who can't necessarily afford getting you know really expensive ones i love this and you can try lots of different colors as well and the coverage is amazing i think amazing. they have quite a good shade range don't they? oh they're huge yeah, yeah, yeah they're so they're like massive i think there's yeah. like 30 colors or something it's crazy and they do other products as well okay this is my last one and i honestly have quite a few and this was so hard like narrowing down to five but this is my favorite powder ever 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 it's the bourgeois healthy balance powder kind of reminds me if you try the chanel Le beige if you're interested in trying it this is a great alternative for that because it's quite a light powder it doesn't have a really heavy coverage it's not cakey i'm someone that likes to reapply my powder like a hundred times yeah the day. so you don't want so you don't want much, that cakey yeah. look you don't want yeah. it to separate so this is really really good for that it has a nice mirror in there as well and I it's quite nice that. and thin. It's so thin. Yeah. I never really buy anything from Bourjois, but I'll have a look oh, now, that, now that I've seen that. So, guys, that is the end of our budget beauty favourites. I hope it gave you guys some inspiration. We'll link the products in the description bar below so you guys can check those out. I will link some of my favourite videos of Amelia's down below. Please do check out her channel subscribe to her send her some love it's all about spreading the love here and she's got some really great things going on over in her space on Amelia's channel we're going to be doing our style staples for all year round so if you want to know what I like and what Amelia likes then make sure you check it out but it will be linked so thanks for watching guys and we'll catch you later bye, bye.